Hi guys and welcome to this 10th video in the But How Do It Know Companion video series. And today we're going to be learning how to program the Arduino devices that we're going to be using uh, in the project. So on the screen here I have uh, a web page that I uh, created. At, I, it's hosted on GitHub and I placed the uh, link in the description box below. And uh, on it I have provided installation instructions. So if you scroll down past the project schematic you will find a section called installation instructions. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure you have the Arduino IDE, the Arduino Integrated Development Environment. So if you don't have it, uh, click on the link here. You select your uh, platform on uh, the right here and you install the IDE. So the IDE is what's going to allow us to upload our code uh, onto the Arduino microcontroller devices. The second step is to download the actual code. So I've placed a link here uh, to a zip file that you can download. So you can save it to uh, your downloads folder or uh, wherever you want for now. And uh, once you've done that, locate it and uh, unzip it and extract the contents to uh, a folder. In my case, I'm going to put it to uh, my documents folder. Okay, so once that's done, the next step is to install the extension library. So the extension library is a, a code library that I wrote that uh, is going to allow uh, the first Arduino, which we're going to be calling Arduino main, to uh, basically remote control the other Arduinos. And um, this code needs to be um, installed on all the Arduino devices. So by making a library out of it, uh, it makes this easier. So open the Arduino IDE. It doesn't matter what sketch uh, opens for now. You go in sketch. You go in include library. Add zip library. You select here the folder where uh, we uh, unzipped our code before. And in the uh, gcscpu-hmc-main uh, uh, folder, you will see a file called Arduino extension uh, with a, a number .zip. So choose that one and open. So now the library has been added to uh, your Arduino library collection. So the next step is to upload the code to your main Arduino. So again, open the Arduino IDE and we navigate to uh, the file that we uh, downloaded uh, before. We go to Arduino main and you select Arduino main.ino. So INO is uh, the extension for uh, the Arduino sketches, which are which is the name that they use for Arduino uh, projects. So the first thing we want to do now is uh, compile the code, make sure it compiles properly. So you press on this check mark here. Great. Uh, once that's done, you use uh, your USB cable and you uh, connect your Arduino using the USB port that's on it. And uh, then uh, you use the right arrow here, the upload button, to send the code to the Arduino. Let's do it right now. It can take a little bit of time to upload sometimes maybe uh, 20 to 30 seconds or something like that. Okay, so uh, once you have that uploaded, 
open uh, from here the what's called the serial monitor. So the serial monitor is uh, uh, is a, a screen, if you want, that can act uh, sort of like a console for the Arduino. And if you use debug or print statements inside your code, you can see them here. So if you see these four lines here, uh, saying that um, you know uh, the, the the wait is done and the reset is done, that means everything is working properly. So the next thing you need to do is to repeat this process with uh, the other three Arduinos. So the other Arduinos are called extension, extension 1, extension 2, and extension 3. And uh, you will need to program each of them with a similar uh, program. Let's open it right now. So uh, go and open, go to our project directory. You will see you have Arduino E1, E2, and E3. So you need to uh, go inside each one, one at a time. Here you select E1, the other one you select E2.ino, and the third one you select the same thing. And for each of the three Arduinos, you're going to program one of these uh, E1, E2, or E3 sketches on them. Make sure you use a little sticker or something to identify them because we're going to need to uh, make sure we know which one is E1, E2, E3 because we're going to be uh, using them in specific places and they're going to be playing specific roles. So open that sketch, program the next one and so on until you have all three extensions programmed. So once that's done, uh, we have everything uh, done with regards to programming the Arduinos. Now if you have any issues, your Arduino is not being recognized by your computer when you use the USB cable or anything like that, uh, go online, go check in the Arduino forums. Um, there is a lot of documentation out there, there's a lot of forums, a lot of people asking question, questions and a lot of answers. If ever you have a, uh, an issue you can even write a comment in the uh, below this, this video here and I'll, I'll see if I can uh, help you out. So that's it for now. So in the next video, we're going to be uh, looking at the RAM. So uh, I'll see you soon.